What's up Xiaomi fans, Christian here, welcome back to All About Me. I've been using the Mi Tansi Lite for over a month now and I'm impressed. Definitely this is a great all-round phone, but it's not perfect. Stick around, I'll now show you what's good and what's not on this Mi Tansi Lite. Let's go! And let's recap on what's inside the box. Opening the box, you can find the SIM ejector pin. You also have the user manual and as well as a free case. And right below it, you'll find the phone wrapped in plastic with its key features printed. And underneath, you have the Type-C charging cable as well as a 33 watts power charger. And what we have here is the Atlantic Blue. It's two-tone and I like how the two colors blended together. And if you look at the camera, it has an embossed ring around it and it looks more premium. And also, I was able to unbox the Rose Gold Beach. Um, I would like to thank Sir Mitch from Xiaomi Review for loaning me this phone. And probably for a change, you can get this color. It's pretty soothing to the eyes. This is the Rose Gold Beach color. So it's very light on the eyes uh, when you hold it. It looks very premium. And yep, that looks pretty good. It's stunning. And on the side, you have the SIM tray and it's pretty smooth. Even the side has the two-tone colors blended perfectly. And on the other side, you have the power button as well as the fingerprint sensor. And at the top, we have the IR blaster as well as the microphone. And for the second or the top speaker, it is actually at the audio receiver. And at the bottom, we have the speakers, we have the microphone, we have the Type-C charging port, as well as a 3.5 mm jack for your wired headphones connection. And it comes with a screen protector pre-installed, so which is quite good. Once you purchase this, just put in your SIM card and you're good to go. And I like how they place the power button on the side. It's quite convenient for your uh, thumb to unlock or to power it on or power it off or to lock your phone probably. And this phone already out from the box already comes with the MIUI 12 and as well as the Android 10. And it's also 5G, so you'll get more than what you paid for for this Mi 10T Lite. All right, so let me quickly set this up and uh, let's explore what else we have here. So we'll do some, some of the settings. Let's set up this device pretty quickly. I'm adding my fingerprint and it is super fast and easy because it's very responsive. And I like how they place it on the side. Well, there you go. It's super responsive and haven't failed me so far. And it is a hybrid nano SIM. And for the memory card, you can put up to 256 gig. All right, so let's test the 5G on this device. And it looks like I'm getting an impressive 5G on this phone. Looking at the speed test, you would know this is a flagship level 5G device. So it's good to know that even though it's a budget phone, they didn't cut any cost on the 5G. So it's still top of the line. You'll get whatever 5G capability of those high-end phones. You'll still get it on this budget phone. And moving along to its display, it is a 6.67 inches dot display. It is LCD with full HD+, but it is really rich and vibrant. A lot are not liking the LCD, but come on guys, this is a budget phone. LCD display is not that bad. Using this phone for that long, I won't really notice the difference between the LCD and the, uh, and the AMOLED screen. But it also comes with the reading mode, sunlight mode, it has a certification for the two brain land for having a low blue light emission, so which is pretty good. You can have an extended uh, gaming or probably watching videos or movies on this phone. And the best thing is it has a high 120 hertz refresh rate, which supports adaptive sync. So it automatically matches content with the best refresh rate to provide a smooth experience without compromising the better life of this phone. Whether you'll be watching or recording videos, scrolling, social media, or playing games. And also I tested if there is screen bleeding in this phone. So I tried different color backgrounds 
and so far everything is good except for the gray color so it's only visible on gray even on white it's not that visible probably if you're not that lucky then probably you get something on, on the white color but on gray as you can see it is having that uh, some some lightness on, on the edges or the sides of the of the screen and while watching video it doesn't really affect me I don't see that uh, anything or any discoloration on the sides of the screen it's still pretty good so even playing games or watching videos it is still very clear very rich and vibrant for its colors and for its sound quality I'm pretty impressed it's actually quite good it has dual speakers one at the audio receiver and one at the bottom let's hear the test audio And the N22 benchmark score is absolutely impressive with more than 320,000 N22 benchmark score. So I do play games and I tested it to some of the games that I play. One of them is this Asphalt 8 Airborne and so far I like the graphics. It's pretty smooth. It can handle this phone can handle this game without any issue at all. No lags, no jitters. Everything was smooth. And the next game I tested it on is the PUBG Mobile. And so far, as for new phones, you can't uh, choose the highest uh, setting possible. I can only choose it up to HD for now. But uh, definitely, once they have added this phone on their list, you will be able to use up to the Ultra HD if it's possible. All right, and so again, uh, this phone, it, it can handle the HD, but I'm, I'm, I'll be testing this if this phone can handle the highest, uh, higher graphic settings for the PUBG Mobile. But so far on this setting, it's still pretty good. No issues, no lags, everything was smooth, and you can have extended gaming because it's a better life is lasting. And the next game that I tested is the NBA 2K20. For NBA fans out there, if you're looking for a phone and you want to play this game, the Mi 10T Lite is definitely one to consider. And lastly, I've tested it on the Call of Duty Mobile. I've set it to very high and high for the frame rate, but unfortunately it couldn't handle that. So I wouldn't recommend that you set it to this highest settings if you play Call of Duty Mobile, because it has some graphics issue when, once you do that. So, and it, it lags sometimes, it will really affect your gaming uh, experience. So basically I wouldn't suggest that you do that, but if you have this phone, you wanna play Call of Duty Mobile, try to lower it down, probably just put it to uh, the, the mid setting and don't put it to the highest uh, frame rate because it will just ruin your uh, gaming experience. So now let's move along to its battery. It's not the biggest battery there is, but the technology that comes with it is impressive. It has 4,820 milliamp hour battery. It has the MMT parallel charging technology where electric current enters in the center of the battery with two parallel pathways charging simultaneously. So it also has the Mi fast charging technology and on paper, it can charge the phone 100% in 59 minutes. And it comes with a 33 watt fast charger together in the box. And it has a notification light at the top in the speaker grill. And the camera on this phone is actually quite good. It has a 64 megapixel main shooter, which takes impressive photos. And no matter what time of the day, even though it's cloudy, you still get quality photos. So I'm impressed. 
And um, talking about the lenses from behind, we have a 64 megapixel main camera, which has a Sony IMX682 sensor. The one beside it is a two megapixel macro lens. And then we have an eight megapixel ultra wide angle lens, which is 120 degrees field of view. And the other one is a two me megapixel depth sensing lens. So let's check out the sample photos. And if you like taking videos, 1080p 30 frames per second is the sweet spot because it has stabilization, it's pretty clear, and it's quite good. And for the 60 frames per second, there is some focus issue. Sometimes you'll you notice that on the screen and doesn't have any stabilization at all. And for the 4K 30 frames per second, it is pretty clear. I like the quality, but it does not have stabilization. So all of this is just handheld. All right, so let's try walking and the 1080p 30 frames per second is still very stable. It's a little bit cropped, but uh, you'll get a great footage even though you're moving. But unfortunately, the 1080p 60 frames per second, it's almost unbearable to watch. It has that uh, shake and also the focus, um, focus issue. And the 4K 30 frames per second also doesn't have any stabilization so it is best that you get a gimbal like, or a stabilizer or you must have a very steady hand. Alright so front camera we have 16 megapixel which takes decent photos and I love the quality of the front camera video because it's 16 megapixel, it's really pretty clear and it has the optical image stabilization so this is great for vlogging. And I uh, just need to highlight this post-editing software that is built into the phone itself. This is actually part of the MIUI 12. Uh, it's the filter, uh, one of the filters. It's a sky filter that they just upgraded so you can do more things on the sky filter. So basically, sky filter, you can change the, uh, the sky with some of the filters, filters that they provided. But now they have evening, night, and dynamic. So evening, you can actually add a moon. You will also change the uh, like, like the lighting on the picture itself. You can have that super huge moon. You can put the aurora. You can put the cosmos in there, which is pretty amazing. So it's it's pretty clean, in or even the uh, like the Milky Way or even fireworks. And there are audios that are uh, that's included in this. Well, this phone is packed with features, but to add this as NFC for your contactless transactions, so it supports Google Pay, which is pretty convenient. All right, so with all those being said, let me know what you think on this Mi 10T Lite. You can leave your comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.